So today we're going to be going over to a comic book shop and seeing how much they will give me for some Funko Pops that I have sitting around. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So the other day I saw Wasatch Pop. If you don't know, I'm a really great guy and really cool YouTuber as well. Another fellow pop YouTuber too. He actually went to one of his local shops and sold them a bunch of Funko Pops that he just had sitting around. Maybe he didn't want to sell anymore, basically. So I reached out to him, I was like, hey, I saw your video and I kind of want to do a video of my own. So here we are. I have a bunch of stuff sitting over there from old auctions and just things that I didn't want to attempt to sell. It's a lot of $5 commons and a lot of like $20, $30 items basically. There's also a lot of bigger like 10 inch pops and deluxe pops over there that are just taking up a bunch of space. So before we continue on with our topic today, we do have our question of the day and that is, do you have a Funko Pop in your collection that is holding a book? and we have Light from Death Note. Okay, so if you've never sold Funko Pops to like a private seller or some kind of comic book shop like we're gonna go to today, this is usually how it goes. Usually they're going to give you a lot less than you would get if you sold everything individually. I fully know that going in. And they give you two options, which is cash or store credit. And usually store credit is much higher because you can use that on their own inventory and it doesn't cost them as much money. Now in my experience, I've seen shops give you anywhere from 40, to 60% of the total value of whatever you're trying to sell to them. And for example, if they were doing 40 and 60%, 40% would be the cash value and 60% would be the store credit. All these pops are sitting around and they are such lower end pops that they are just not worth trying to sell, whether it was on Whatnot, Mercari, eBay, usually those sites take around 13% in fees, for example. So I'm losing money in those fees, I'm losing money in packing supplies, pop protectors, which are like dollar, two dollars a piece each. And then I also have to spend the time selling them. I also have to spend the time packing them, dropping them off at the post office. So with all that work included, it would be almost the equivalent to me just taking a pay cut and selling it to them. With all that being said, let me give you a quick glimpse at everything that we have and then let's head over to the comic shop. All right guys, so here are some of the leftovers from my previous auctions that I've just decided I don't want to attempt to sell anymore. I wanna move on to something else, but we have like War Machine in here, Baxter Stockman, unfortunately he's kinda crushed on the back. A 10 inch Hulk, we have some of the Sinister Six set, Iron Throne, like there's all kinds of random things in here, nothing too crazy. A lot of low end stuff, some Child Pops, Doctor Who, Black Adam for example. So there's just all kinds of like lower end stuff and I'm just curious what they would give me. All right guys, so we're headed inside to Comic Spot and let's see what they give us today. All right guys, so I just dropped everything off and it's gonna take a little bit, maybe like an hour to go through 30, 40 pops and look values up and things like that. So while they're seeing which ones they want, we're gonna go through their endless amount of Funko Pops and see if we need anything. On this side, we have the Coca-Cola bottle cap, Chewbacca up there, Princess Leia. We have the Deadpool Metallic, Bugs Bunny, Triclops with the official sticker, Lance from the King's Knights, kinda cool. Gingerbread Thor, Spider-Man 2099. I actually have all these commons already. Annabelle's kind of cool for horror. Let's see, Composite Superman, Sirius Black, that's a nice one. Um, Venom Pool, Korra, I do actually also have this set already. Indiana Jones, Little Prince, nice to see. Anything down here we need? Maybe that Venom Miles, Miles Morales, I'm not sure yet. Same as Leprechaun, Darkest Night Batman. Oh wow, I didn't realize that was so expensive now, 60 bucks. Over on this side, we do have the Umbrella Academy number five. I've had my eye on that one for a while. More specifically though, the Chase variation, but I might get both given that one's only 15 bucks. Deadpool up there. Ooh, they have Clark Kent. I have that one, but cool to see. We have Homelander, Tattoo, Captain Marvel, Harley Quinn. Frankenstein, that's pretty cool from the monsters. Deathstroke. Oh, another monsters. We have the uh, the mummy. That's pretty neat. Deadpool is Bob Ross. That's hilarious. Mayhem April Parker. I still need that one, but looks like that one's a little damaged. Etrigan, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Captain America, Groot. That's pretty cool. Little Mermaid, Master Chief, Kid Flash, Karopi, Allison Reynolds. Really good pickup right now. Swamp Thing. Another good pickup. Iron Patriot, Wonder Woman. Colonel Sanders, pretty good stuff today. Over on this side, they have the Starlight Chase from the boys. That's a pretty nice one. Zombie Deadpool, ooh, Donatello. Tuxedo Sam as well. Uh, I'm not seeing any of the Sanrio Bailey needs. She needs, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's like one more from this set. I, I don't remember what it is though. Joy Koi, or Joe Koi, excuse me. 
Spider Gwen Unhooded. I do have that one. Ooh, they have the Peter Parker from Into the Spider Verse. There's a little damage though. Yeah, it's a little dinged up, but it's still a pretty cool one. Movie comes out so soon, or the next, the sequel. I'm so excited. Uh, Clark Griswold, fantastic one. Let's see. Superman, Hermione Granger, The Wolf, Johnny Bravo. Uh, what We Do in the Shadows, is that what it's called? Yeah, interesting. Kind of just to give you guys a wide view of a lot of the stuff available. Octo Spidey, that's another one I need. Scream Symbiote. Actually, do I have that Octo Spidey? I might. That's a pretty cool one. Wonder when they'll, when they'll introduce her character. Oh, they have uh, Vexalia from Critical Role and Percival. Nice. You don't see those every day. Harry Dune from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, they also have Grog. Oh, and this one too. Wow, they got a lot. I'm also noticing up there they have Mirage and they have Punisher. Now, Punisher, I don't have the non-chase. And Mirage, I would prefer Bangalore, but it is cool to see Apex. Okay, so if I went the store credit route, this would be the section I would look in. So this is their little grails. We have a Superboy. Definitely a really cool one. Woody, Red Sun Superman. I do like that one. That's a really cool sticker. Uh, Bedrock City Superman, which is pretty neat. The old SDCC exclusive Man of Steel. They also have uh, Ilden. Bonnie sign, Sean sign, Captain Spaulding, always a great one. Gus, Ezra, Hatbox, Ghost, and Phineas. Vikings, Bruce Lee, Bigfoot. A lot of good stuff here. I don't think there's anything I would crazy need. Maybe the Superman and maybe the Superboy. I actually didn't fully realize this, but they have the new Michael Keaton Batman Unmasked, the PX one. Pretty nice, actually. Here's another Spider-Man pop that I need. The Walgreens exclusive there. They have this really cool Ant-Man one. Some games pops. We have Gears of War there. Pretty cool. Hanukkah. Nice. Oh, they have the Clark Kent. Love that one. Battle Levi as well. Up top, they have a signed Nancy, Britney Spears. V for Vendetta. Absolutely love that too. That is another one that I need for the collection. Uh, Japan, It's a Small World, Party Thor, Diggum Frog. I had that a long time ago when it first came out. Nigel up there, Elastigirl. Some cool stuff over here. All right, guys, so here is everything right here. And uh, basically the numbers were cash was 118 and store credit was 236. So they basically give 25% for cash and 50% for store credit. And honestly, I'm just going to take the store credit because... This is a lot of stuff that I really don't want to bother sell, trying to sell. All right, guys, so we're out of there, and I, in fact, just got a bag full of stuff. So I decided to go with the store uh, credit option just because, obviously, it was double what the cash was. I won't lie. The cash offer was lower than I was expecting. I know some places give a higher cash amount and some don't. It really depends where you go, to be honest. And again, most of the stuff that I had, there was a lot of $5 items in there, a lot of not very big desirables like I had a Black Adam common in there and I had something from Jurassic World Dominion you know so not crazy grails or anything like that so I wasn't expecting top tier value I got basically around especially for store credit what I was expecting around the 50% range which is actually pretty decent uh, again the cash was a little bit lower than I was expecting but I was like eh, I normally come in here anyway so I just picked up a couple things I needed for the collection but let me know would you guys have done the store credit cash or would you have just taken the time to sell them yourself I was kind of doing the math and everything was around $470 worth of value is what they came up with and how they valued them, if you guys are wondering, was they go buy the last three sales on eBay, which is actually pretty smart. I'm glad they do it that way and don't just use the Funko app or Pop Price Guide. That is the best way that they are going to not overspend and I'm going to get the best value at the same time. Just so you know, eBay, best place to find your value. So that's how we kind of came to that number. But again, I wasn't expecting anything extravagant, but let me know what would you have done in this situation and have you ever sold your pops in bulk like that before? But now let's go home and let me show you everything we picked up. All right guys, so we're back home now and we did pick up five different Funko Pops here. So again, I did go the store credit route, which was around $240 and the total value of everything after them looking it up on eBay was around 470, 475 in that range. So going over some of the things that we use the store credit on, firstly, we did get the spider armor here. One I needed in the collection, really awesome too. Very excited about this one. Now, another one we did get was in fact, the Peter Parker from across, or into the Spider-Verse, excuse me. Sorry, the new movie's coming out soon, so I'm mixing up the names, but definitely a really cool one. It was a little banged up. They had $35 on it, and I had like $31 left after I picked a couple of things, and I was like, would you do 31? So they knocked off a couple dollars um, due to the little small damages it had. And this is just a really cool one too. Now, another one we did get was Octo Spidey here. 
another really cool one. Honestly, I don't know if I own this in my collection, so that's why I picked it up. Looking over here, I'm not seeing it out of box. It could very well be down there, but I'm not sure. Moving on, we also got this one for Bailey because she's been eyeing it for a while and she has been very unlucky, might I add, trying to do chase roulettes. We got the Oswald the rabbit chase here. She really wanted this one. You know what, for fun, let's go downstairs and give this to Bailey because I think she just got home and we'll catch her reaction on camera. So I'm downstairs, so we're gonna give it to Bailey. Why well, you look like you that? You already proposed, what else could you do? This is better. This is better? Maybe, I don't know. We... I hope not, honestly. Yeah. The <laughs> ring was expensive. <laughs> All right. I tried. Oh, yeah, nice, I told him. Like I told him. I tried. You tried a couple times. Nice. And then lastly, we did actually pick up a grail. And that was Superboy here. So they had 135 on it. And this one's actually been trending a little bit higher around the 150, 160 dollar range. So we got a little bit of a deal on this. So we got some value back there, which was really cool too. Now those were all of our pickups with the store credit. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys feel like I might've taken too big of a pay cut, but hopefully after explaining the process that goes into selling that many pops, packing and everything like that, hopefully you kind of understand why I made the decision. It just wasn't worth it, in my opinion, to go through all that effort with those. As well as I do feel like this made for a fun and interesting video for you guys to watch. So hopefully you did enjoy. The only thing I was a little bummed about was that the cash offer around 25% was a lot lower than I was expecting. I was kind of expecting around 30 to 40%. I wasn't, I won't lie, but it's okay. We didn't take the cash offer anyway. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I'd love to have you stick around for daily content. To end off the video, I do want to say a big shout out to all the amazing Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon link Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 17,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.